We have another chick just about ready to come out of the shell. Here's the one that just hatched out about two minutes ago. And these guys are probably five or six hours old. All the eggs that have a little peck in them have pipped and will hopefully hatch in the next 12 hours. And we'll watch as this egg hatches. We've been incubating these eggs for 21 days. They're just regular chicken eggs. Chickens take 21 days from their first day of incubation. They can survive after being laid for up to about five days, either in a refrigerator or just at room temperature. But once they are incubated either by a hen or by a styrofoam incubator, like this one that we're using, and ink kept it about 99 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit it takes 21 days from the first day of incubation. And today is exactly 21 days since my kindergarten class put these eggs in the incubator. We started out with 18 eggs in our incubator. 17 of them, when we candled three days ago, did have chicks inside. And now on the 21st day, we've had four hatch so far, and we're hopeful that most of them will make it out today. This egg pipped about an hour and a half ago, and then just in the last 15 minutes has started cracking the rest of the way around. Once the chick pips, it's breathing outside air for the first time. Up till now, it's breathed through an air sac in the egg. We notice that as they start to crack their line around the top, that the other chicks that have already hatched seem to come over and <laughs> give them a little encouragement to hurry up and get out. I don't know if you can tell, but the egg is just barely rocking as the crack around the egg gets bigger and bigger. I would turn it over and show you, but messing with the egg at all while the chick's trying to hatch can cause it problems, so you don't want to touch it once it's started hatching. Apparently it doesn't cause problems when other chicks mess with it because they always seem to hatch out healthy even though the other already hatched chicks tend to come over and give it a hard time. He's starting to stretch that membrane trying to crack his egg open. The other chicks do like to stay warm. They stay in the incubator for up to 24 hours after they've hatched to stay at the 100 degrees. After the 24 hours, they'll need food. For now, they're being nourished by their yolk. You can see here's an egg that one of the other chicks hatched out of and part of its yolk that came out, but it absorbs most of the, that yolk and uses it as nutrition for its first 24 hours. And they like to stay that toasty 100 degrees. So when the lid of the incubator is open, it causes it to get a little cooler and they like to move back towards the heating element. Here's the other little chick that hatched just a few minutes ago. He is healthy and fine, but he lays still for a while. It's a lot of effort to hatch out of that egg. And you can see his little eye blinking. He's alive and well, but he's absorbing the last of his egg yolk to give him nourishment. And resting, getting his strength back from all that hard work. You can see there's another egg trying hard to pip. Well, it's already pipped with its egg tooth, but trying hard to hatch over here. Back to the one we were watching. Even the freshly hatched guys trying to move over to get under that heating element. 
and they like to be near each other. And as soon as they're hatched, they like to stay together. You can see the one that the hatch chicks are leaning against. It's already pipped also. Hopefully will hatch before the day is over. Occasionally they do pip and then don't ever hatch, but that's unusual. I wonder if there's any kind of language these these other little guys are saying anything to him. Like, Come on, you can do it. You can see this guy's making quite the effort. His beak sticking out there, his egg tooth helping him. He's pushed enough to break the membrane. You can see how how hard his heart is beating, how fast he's breathing, how much effort it's taking him to break out of that egg. Here he comes. Could still take up to two to three full minutes before he makes it the rest of the way out. I'm trying to keep the camera. Oh, he came out a lot faster than the others. One good push. can't take the lid off the incubator because he needs to stay warm. He's been inside that egg for over 21 days. We didn't incubate them on the day they were laid. So it's a little bit of a shock when they first come out and they don't like to be cold. We'll stay with him just one second longer, see if he'll push his egg the rest of the way off. This little guy's making quite a bit of racket. He's gotten on his back and it takes a lot of effort to get back up. I think he might be yelling at the one next to him to stay in, stay in. Of course, with all life cycles, that's not what's best. <laughs> he's got his little wings splayed out flat. Looks like he's scratching his face. These guys looked exactly the same just a few hours ago when they hatched. Let's see if he'll kick his shell the rest of the way off. There he goes. The extension service is through Texas A&M and they provided us with the incubator and the eggs. The eggs were sent on a Greyhound bus in an egg carton from Texas A&M and we received them here in Springtown when our county extension agent brought them to us. This project is called Egg to Chick as you might imagine and they provide schools with the eggs and the incubators and the information on how to hatch some healthy chickens. We'll keep our chickens in our classroom for about a week now that they're hatching. Once they're healthy enough to be separated and they've eaten and drank well for about a week, here we live in the country and we'll ask students um, whose parents might say yes to bringing home a baby chick, might have room and space and supplies to raise a chicken. The ones that are not able to be adopted by students, there are several local farms that we can take them to or feed stores.
This little guy just can't get up the strength to get off his back yet. I'm going to close the incubator now so that the chickens can stay warm as they're hatching and look for more egg-to-chick videos.